Hello, I'm Chris Sumner, and this is your PeminaValleyOnline.com video news update. Here are the top stories for the week of January 31st to February 6th. Construction activity in 2014 in the RPGA Planning District remained steady based on the value of building permits issued by the organization. Altona registered about $5.8 million in building permits, while the municipality of Rhineland had about $6.5 million. Plum Cooley saw $565,000 in permits, down from a high of $1.2 million, while Gretna last year had very little activity. Chair Don Weeb explains hopeful the construction growth the region has enjoyed over the past few years is not on the decline, citing the fact a number of developers have expressed interest in areas throughout the region. Constable Adam Heber with Morden Police Service is now working his last couple of weeks before taking on a new role as a new constable with the Winnipeg Police Service. Constable Hebert is the handler of Morden's K-9 unit. Morden Police Chief Brad Naduzak says Constable Scott Edwards will be taking over as police dog Chase's handler. Naduzak says Chase is pretty adaptable, so the hope is it will not take too long for her to get used to her new handler. Chase has worked with Constable Edwards before, so they feel the transition should be smooth. As for replacing Constable Hebert, Naduzak says they have put in a request for another officer with City Council, and they are currently waiting to have that request approved. A meteorologist with Environment Canada has confirmed the months of December and January were each about three degrees warmer than normal for southern Manitoba. In fact, John Paul Craig says in a typical winter, this part of the province has 12 days with temperatures below minus 30. So far this winter, we've had just six. And while snowfall has been down this winter, the current forecast for this weekend says more is on the way. Meanwhile, Manitoba Merv predicted an early start to spring on February 2nd, and Craig says the groundhog may be right. In light of recent reports of severe domestic assault cases in the area, Winkler-based Genesis House is reminding the community they are here to help. Executive Director Ange Brown says physical violence in a relationship usually begins with verbal and emotional abuse and very often escalates. Brown says friends and family can play a key role in helping someone they suspect is in an abusive relationship. Things to watch for include a person showing signs of isolation and their self-esteem taking a hit, which is a direct result of being isolated. Bandit the ferret, Roscoe the rooster, and Dash the rabbit are a few of the animals Winkler Elementary School grade two students have been able to read books to. Teacher Michelle Giesbright introduced the idea last year and has found reluctant readers are more apt to pick up a book and read to the animals because they won't make fun of them if they have trouble. Seeing one of her reluctant readers grab an audiobook, put an earbud in his ear and the other in the ferret cage and listen together showed how it has allowed the students to get more engaged in reading. Giesbright notes Monday is when she brings in a new animal for the students to read to, adding students can hardly wait to come in and see which animal is there. And those were a few of your top news stories for the week of January 31st to February 6th. For more information on these and other local news stories, go to PeminaValleyOnline.com. I'm Chris Sumner. Thanks for watching.